Korea Aerospace Industries KAI, unveiled a scale model of the KF-21N during DX Korea 2022. It is the carrier-borne version of the company's indigenous 4.5 generation fighter jet known as the KF-21 or KFX project and is intended for the CVX aircraft carrier program. The KF-21N will be a modification of the KF-21, which made its debut flight a few months ago. It will enter service with the country's Navy and will be used on aircraft carriers. The fighter development program depends on which aircraft carrier South Korea will buy. But Korea Aerospace Industries says it is ready to start production of the aircraft within a few years. According to the information panel on display at the DX Korea 2022 exhibition show, KF-21N has a length of 17.1 meters, a height of 5.2 meters, and a width of 12.3 meters. It can fly at the maximum speed of Mach 1.6 with a payload of 7,620 kilograms. The maximum takeoff weight is around 25,600 kilograms. Another key feature of the KF-21N is that the size is much larger than Lockheed Martin's F-35B and the ground-based KF-21. The carrier-borne fighter jet adopted a resting VUX under its body and the wing-folding system, which allows easier and more efficient accommodation in the limited space of CVX on its deck or hangar. KAI informed that the wings of the KF-21N are bigger than that of the original KF-21. The company has so far refused to disclose all the technical characteristics of the aircraft, but it is known that it will receive hypersonic long-range air-to-surface missiles. Apparently, we are talking about the missiles developed by the Defense Development Agency. The takeoff weight will be more than 25 tons, that's why the fighter will be able to reach a speed of almost 2,000 kilometers per hour. KAI explained that the company would like to recommend a single seat for the KF-21 naval version for operational efficiency. The company manufactured both single-seat and multi-piloted seat fighter jets for the legacy KF-21. KAI confidently mentioned that KF-21N is the first 4.5 generation carrier-borne fighter jet that will be fitted with twin engines. KAI told more that the numerical specifications described on the information panel are based on a Catabar version of the aircraft. Placeable weapons would include both foreign and domestic missiles, such as air-to-air, air-to-surface, and air-to-ground missiles. KAI said that the jet space for ordnance was designed in consideration of future missile assets. The KF-21N will also have a 20% increase in wing area to improve stability during takeoff and landing on the aircraft carrier. It is possible that the fighter will be able to use shortened runways. In addition, the aircraft will be equipped with two F-414 engines from General Electric. KAI showed interest in exporting the KF-21 naval version, but raised a concern that the number of countries possessing operable aircraft carriers is very few. But a manager at the booth confidently shared his thought that KF-21N could be a reasonable option for other states that consider aircraft carriers or carrier-borne jets. Regarding the possibility of developing KF-21N into fifth-generation jets like F-35, KAI commented the Korean government should make a decision. The company predicts the development of KF-21N would be completed in line with the actual deployment of CVX in 2033, meaning that a contracted shipbuilder would have 11 more years to conclude a final design and construct a carrier, and that KAI could adjust KF-21N accordingly.